Hey, Maryland Realtors, Bill Castelli with the Government Affairs Department, going to give you a quick update of what happened in the legislative session. Uh, session ended last night. It ended two and a half weeks early because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, but we had uh, a lot of success this session, and I'll quickly describe it to you. Uh, sales and use tax on real estate services, that bill was introduced very late in session and it was defeated. In fact, all of the sales and use taxes on different services were, uh, were defeated this year. And that is due in large part to your incredible activity on that bill. Hundreds of you showed up for a rally, you clogged the hallways of the Maryland House of Delegates and you made a huge impact, so congratulations to you. Uh, we also passed legislation that is going to add a professionalism component to the real estate ethics class, does not increase your hours. Uh, legislation was passed that's going to give buyers better notice of easements and covenants. Legislation was passed that's going to ease the burden of escrowing for ground rents that some sellers have right now when it is an unregistered ground rent. And there was also an effort to try to delay the e-notary law this year. So as many of you may know, remote notary was authorized to, to take effect in Maryland October 1st of this year. There was an effort to delay that, that did not succeed. And then finally, we had a couple of property management bills that were passed by the House of Delegates. Unfortunately, time ran out. They did not get any consideration in the Senate, but we hope to come back next year and, uh, and maybe even as early as May when there's gonna be a special session to try and move some of those bills. If you want any more information about these bills, go to mdrealtor.org, go to the Government Affairs Department and click on uh, status of bills and also click on our priorities for more detail. Thanks.